Hello, hope you're doing great. This video will continue with exercises for practicing congruence of triangles. In this video, I'm going to present you problems that can be solved with the side 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 or SSS criterion of congruence for triangles. Our first exercise says, let be an isosceles triangle, the triangle ABC, such that the sides AB and AC are equal. Let M be the midpoint of the side BC. The problem asks to prove that AM bisects the angle BAC and is perpendicular to the side BC. I'll give you some context for this problem. First, I draw an isosceles triangle. I label its vertices ABC. I will label the midpoint of the side BC and I'm going to connect the points A and M. Notice that by construction the segments BM and MC are equal and that the problem asks to prove that the angles BAM and MAC are equal and that the angles AMB and CMA are equal. Let me move you to the second exercise of this video which says let be the quadrilateral ABC be a rhombus. The problem asks prove that the segments AC and BD which are the diagonals of the rhombus, are bisectors of the angles of the rhombus. As context for this problem, I'll draw a rhombus ABCD, I'll draw the diagonals of the rhombus and I'll mark the angles which require it to be equal. For solving the problem, it is necessary to prove four pairs of equalities of angles. However, the proof of the first equality could be very similar to the proof of the other equalities. Hence, the problem is a lot simpler than it seems. After this video, it may seem that many properties of the rhombus can be inferred using congruence of triangles. Anyways, the third exercise of this video says, let be the quadrilateral ABC be a rhombus. Proof that the pairs of opposite angles are equal. On the following drawing of a general rhombus ABCD, it can be identified the pairs of angles that need to be proven to be equal. This problem is interesting because it allows for different solutions using the SSA criterion. It also allows for solutions using the SAS criterion. Hope after you find a solution, you try to look for another one. That will be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. You can leave me comments. Now you can solve these problems. Also, you can wait for the solutions on our next video. Have a good day.